The constitutional draft presented for the forthcoming constitutional referendum, in my opinion, is concerning because of the formulations of the human rights actions and it's the formulations that are so concerning. Firstly, they are separated in different chapters. Apart from that, some rights that are present in the current constitution are simply missing from the constitutional draft text. I would like to begin from an important issue, which is the direct operation of constitutional norms, which can be seen in the current constitution, but not in the draft. That means that all the rights set out by the constitution need to be ensured by legislation. That is, their utilization depends on the formulation of the law. The human right of living in healthy, ecologically balanced environment set out in the current constitution has been completely removed from the constitutional draft. This will no longer be seen in the draft as a constitutional human right. We will also not see the state liability of ensuring sustainable environment set out by the constitution. Instead, in the draft, the state takes over only the responsibility of stimulating sustainable environment. As can be seen, there is an obvious difference between the formulations. It is one thing when the state ensures and other when only stimulates. I would like to link this with ensuring the human right to health, which we have in the current constitution, but if we compare this with the draft, we see that this right is not recognized on constitutional level, but is anticipated to be ensured by law. That means one important radical change has been implemented in the section of human rights. All economic and social rights have been set out in the third chapter not as economic and social rights, but as state legislative guarantee and state goals in that sphere. And no rights as human right to health, human right to social security, human right to free choice of employment are set out as constitutionally recognized rights by the state. But it is formulated that according to the law, every entity, in particular cases as senility, having many children and etc., has the right to social security, that everyone has the right to health according to law and in the prescribed manner of law, application and conditions are defined by law. It is one thing when the state recognizes the right on a constitutional level, which means that protects it constitutionally, and is a completely different thing when we see the right set out only by law. We have to yet see what will be the will expressed by the legislative body and what formulations will be given to the current laws. I would like to note another regression linked to human rights, which concerns the human right for application to constitutional court. When the economic social rights were separated from the core rights and were moved to the third chapter of the draft, separation took place, implying that every person has the right to apply to the constitutional court disputing the constitutionality of a legal act. By which his rights forcing by the third chapter of the constitution were violated. This might be a little bit complex judicial terminology, particularly in case of reference. Let me try to simplify. By this draft, in fact, the term legislative act is used, which means that both by law and the sub-legislative act which were implemented by courts towards a person and by which the person's rights were violated can apply to constitutional court. As the current constitution gives right to dispute only legal norms in the constitutional court, the new draft expands and gives opportunity to dispute 
dispute a sub-legislative act in constitutional court, but only if by that norm the right set out by the second chapter of the Constitution is violated. And as we saw, the economic social rights are not set out in the second chapter. In the second chapter, citizens' core rights are set out say, human right to life, human right to discrimination, and etc. And in case of such separation, there is naturally a huge limitation for the person to apply to the constitutional court. From this perspective, the ombudsman's right to apply to the constitutional court has also been limited. He also cannot dispute the norms in the constitutional court if their violation is not directly linked to the norms of the second chapter. If the human right and the availability of an important institute as constitutional court is being limited, it's an evident regression in terms of defense of human rights. As for the separation of social rights from the core rights, the board of experts expressed the same concept, so this can be seen as logical. Yes, core rights and social rights should have accurate division and should be clearly set out, however not to the degree of restraining the human right to availability of court.